There's nothing more terrifying than scrolling through your TikTok and coming across your doppelganger. For this reason, being a celebrity is both a blessing and a curse. Ever since I've been in the spotlight, I've had many fans look up to me. Copying my fashion and singing techniques are one thing, but then there are the fans who share similar features as me, imitate the way I talk, and go on social media and try to be me. Sage Simon was blowing up on TikTok after doing the celebrity lookalike challenge. She sure had everyone fooled. This girl looked like me. Same ethnicity, body type, facial features. It was all very uncomfortable and I didn't like it one bit. OMG. You look exactly like her. Are you two related? Hot. I already love you. Stop playing. We know that's really you, Bariana Vendi. She'd go on social media dressed as some of the characters I played on TV shows, quoting my song lyrics, and recreating my album covers to the point where her account grew to millions of followers. At first, it was all innocent and fun. I was flattered and messaged her, telling her that if she ever came to one of my concerts to let me know so that I could go greet her. Let me know if you ever come to one of my concerts. I'd love to meet you. Hey twin! Wow, I love you. I can't believe you messaged me. Let's do a duet. It'll confuse the heck out of everyone and will blow up more. Sorry, but I can't. I politely declined her offer, and that's when things got messy. Out of nowhere, she started getting brand deals. She would pose in not-so-kid-friendly ways and make up lies about me. Believe me, guys. Mariana Venti isn't all that sweet. All these years, she's stolen my songs and has been using my vocals. She tried to silence me, but not anymore. Then the hate comments poured in. Wow, I can't believe I looked up to you. You're fake. You're just jealous because Sage is actually talented and she's younger than you. You're cancelled. Bye. I am terrified. Sage is a liar. My songs are written by me. I didn't even know this girl existed before TikTok. This is degrading. I posted on Twitter how this was all terrifying and that she was making up lies. My songs are all mine. I didn't even know who the heck Sage was before TikTok. Then she messaged me later that night. You're going to regret trying to cancel me and declining my offer. LOL, okay, whatever. Be original. LOL, okay. I warned you. I received a notification on my phone and opened it. Hey guys, here's a little teaser for what's in store for my fans. If you're 18 or older, check out the link in my bio. I just made an OnlyFans so that you can get a better look at me and get to know me a little better in a more intimate setting. My first photo is up. What the hell? I'm used to all the hate. I don't care. I'm just being me. It's not my fault we look alike. That's why I no longer look up to her, to be honest. I'm just going to do me from here on out. Go check out my OnlyFans, everyone, where the sky's the limit and no request is too crazy. I thought this would all stop at TikTok, but you can only imagine the horror I felt when my doppelganger moved on to OnlyFans. For years, I've been sexualized. I can't even count the number of times I've received inquiries for lingerie brand deals and offers to star in adult films. Then this girl comes out of nowhere and does everything I could never bring myself to do. The worst part is feeling helpless because you can't do anything about it. Wow, everyone needs to go check out Sage's OnlyFans. It's worth every penny. She's brought all my wildest dreams and fantasies to life. I always had a crush on Bariana Venti, but now you can say I'm 100% all for Sage Simon.
I couldn't get out of bed for days. Everyone was talking about it. How Sage was a newer and better version of me. And how I was no longer needed. So I got a little desperate and unblocked the person who scared me the most in life. Hey, I know this is a strange request, but I need your help. Of course, anything for my queen. Thank you for finally messaging me. Let me know how I can be of service. I need you to find out everything you can about Sage. You got it, but... I'm going to need something in return. What? Just a date. Ugh, fine. Hurry up. Check this out. The next day, my number one stalker sent me everything he could find on her. And I was pleasantly surprised. Hey guys, new video will be posted in an hour on my OnlyFans. Here's a little teaser. I don't think you'll be able to handle it. Girl, you're already cancelled. Haha. <laughs> This is embarrassing. Just hide your face from now on. Wait. You already do. Guys, I need you to listen to what's just been uncovered. Sage Simon, also known as the famous Bariana Venti lookalike. Yeah, she's been using a filter. You're going to want to sit down for this one. Let's keep this short and simple. This is what she really looks like. Well now she's hideous. Ugly inside and out. Wow, she actually fooled us. We need to apologize to Bariana Vendi. Guys, she used that sketchy filter to hide the ugly. What did you do? Oh, did I forget to mention what comes with being me and having my Barianators? Well, the crazy devoted fans, of course. Crazier than you can ever imagine, who will stalk your every move and find out everything. I can happily say that ever since, Sage has deleted her OnlyFans account, apologized to the internet and me, and hasn't posted since. Everything's gone back to normal, and I haven't come across any other crazy impersonation accounts. What can I say? Don't mess with me. I can be a dangerous woman. Hey, so when can I pick you up for our date? Now I just need to find a way to get John off my back. Hello, twin. Finally, we meet face to face. Sage, how did you get inside my house? Like you said earlier. Your crazy devoted fans that will stalk your every move and find out everything? Yeah, they're inevitable. I've always been your number one fan. Why do you think I did all of that? But now, I can't trust you. Exposing me to the whole world was cruel. But you know what? I'm not ashamed of myself anymore. I'm pretty dangerous too. <laughs> John? <laughs> Why are you here? How did you even get inside? Where's my thank you? Thanks for saving my life, I guess. But I still need to know. Eh, we can save that for a future conversation. Not really first date material. Times like this, it certainly feels more like a curse. 